Coastal Fitness Nutrition family, Dr. Devin Codlin here um, in my kitchen. All right, so we're going to go through a post-workout shake uh, that we're going to make today, and I'm going to show you some of the ingredients that we use on a regular basis, um, and I'm going to go over some of the nutrition that's in this, this smoothie here. All right, so um, what I'm going to do is just kind of go through the base of it. This one's going to be a strawberry banana smoothie as our base. Um, and I'm not going to actually make the shake right this second. I'm just going to go through each ingredient that we're using. Um, just to kind of go through the base, what we're going to do is we're going to use some canned coconut milk. Um, it's an organic coconut milk. And what this is going to do is it's going to add some flavor. It's also going to add some healthy fats to the shake. All right, so um, this could be a meal replacement. But again, my intent behind it is going to be like a post-workout um, shake. So there's going to be plenty of saturated fat in this. And so a lot of people think saturated fat is bad, but the matter of fact, coconut milk is a good, healthy, saturated fat. So we're going to use half a can. Um, in half a can here, we're going to have about 25 grams of fat, uh, which is going to help keep us full. It's also just going to provide, you know, coconut uh, fat, saturated fat in coconut milk is actually very, very healthy for you. Um, we're also going to use a little bit of an unsweetened coconut milk. Um, this is more like a watered down version, but again, it's just going to add some creaminess to um, the smoothie that we make there. As far as protein goes, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use some vital proteins, collagen peptides. Uh, again, there's a lot of health benefits to collagen, uh, but we're going to get uh, two scoops of this, which is going to be 20 grams of protein. And so this is going to be helpful for um, not just the protein aspect and the amino acid content, but we're also going to have some, some support for our joints, our skin hair, uh, things like that. Um, again, it's going to be from grass-fed cows, pasture-raised. That's what we want to have when we're having our animal products there. Um, another ingredient we're going to use here is going to be some organic chia seeds. Um, chia seeds are going to be high in healthy omega-3 fatty acids. Um, they're also high in a number of things, calcium, iron, um, certainly fiber, but this is a really good um, addition to the smoothie. Again, it's going to add some healthy fats, a little bit of protein as well. And again, there's no taste to it. It's just adding nutrition to the smoothie without adding any, any taste or flavor there. Um, another key ingredient we're going to use is going to be some organic beetroot powder. Uh, beetroot powder is basically uh, freeze-dried beets. And so um, I don't know if you like beets or not. I don't love the taste of beets. So I like to get the nutrition from them. They're super high in vitamins and minerals. And the biggest thing that beets bring to the table is that there's ingredients in here that actually are uh, vasodilators. So basically they dilate your blood vessels and they increase nitric oxide in your system. So after you've worked out, if you actually can dilate your blood vessels, you're going to get more nutrition back into your cells. Um, the other big thing with this is, um, if you know anything about uh, dilating blood vessels, this is good not just for post-workout, but this is actually um, good for your intimacy, all right, for men especially there. Um, Another ingredient we're going to put in here is going to be some organic raw cacao powder. Uh, cacao powder is really high in antioxidants. Um, it's high in certain vitamins and minerals as well. And again, it's going to add some good flavor to our smoothie there. Um, certainly, we're going to add a banana, and we're also going to add some organic strawberries that we're going to put in there as well. So again, that strawberry banana aspect of there is going to give us most of the flavor. I'll be honest with you, even with the strawberry and banana, it's going to be a little bit on the bland side. So another ingredient that we want to utilize is going to be some raw, unfiltered honey. All right. And so some raw honey is loaded with vitamins and minerals. Again, um, it's going to be a great sweetener. It does not affect our blood sugar much at all. Um, and again, this is actually the superfood that I try to get in my diet on a regular basis. And so any way I can get it in, I'm going to try to do that. And so adding it to a smoothie is a great option um, that we're going to utilize here in just a second. Um, there's one other surprise ingredient that I'm going to put in at the end just to add a little bit more protein. Um, but let's go ahead and start building this shake. All right, so next we're going to blend things up. What I did was I just added some ice to the blender itself here. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of the coconut milk to the blender here. So I got my healthy saturated fat there. I'm going to add a little bit more from the coconut milk itself. Like I was saying before, this is going to add some like creaminess to the smoothie here. Um, certainly we want it to be healthy first and foremost, but number two, we also want it to, 
to taste good and actually have a good consistency as well. So this coconut milk is going to be good for that. Um, another thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to bring in the banana. So I'm going to put this in early here. A lot of times what I'll do before I add any powder is I'll actually like start with the base and I'll grind that up. And once I grind up the base, what I'll do is then I'll add some powder and otherwise the powder kind of just goes everywhere. So I'm putting my base in here. Uh, I'm going to have, in addition to what's in there now, I'm going to add some of the chia seeds. I don't really measure ever. I kind of just throw things in there. Um, and, you know, whatever comes out, comes out. That's how I, that's how I do it there. So we're going to make sure that we put those seeds in there. Uh, so the three powders, the, uh, the collagen protein, uh, the beetroot powder, the cacao powder, I'm going to put all of those in last, and I'm actually going to put the honey on top of that, and that's going to help keep some of that powder in once we turn the blender on. But next, I'm going to put in the strawberries. So I'm pretty low maintenance. Again, I don't really um, cut them up or anything. I'm literally just going to take them in there with the tops and all, just throw that right in, and we'll blend that up. <clears throat> Figure I'm going to work my immune system a little bit that way. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and start the base. And I'm just going to fire this up here. Perfect. So we got our base started there. So everything's kind of blended up in there. Now we're going to add some of the powder. So like I said before, we're going to get a good amount of protein in this smoothie. Um, you know, again, you just had a workout, and we want to give our body some good nutrition post-workout. So I'm going to do two generous scoops of the collagen protein here. Again, that's going to be a total of 20, 20 grams of protein that I'm going to have uh, with a really good amino acid profile. Um, you'll see in future videos, we try to vary the proteins so that we have different amino acid profiles. You're not getting the same proteins all the time. I recommend the same thing when you eat meat, whether it's fish, uh, shellfish, whether it's beef or chicken. You want to make sure you're getting different amino acid profiles, different proteins, that sort of thing there. Uh, for the cacao powder, I am going to use a, uh, a tablespoon here. And I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of the cacao powder. Again, that's going to add some flavor, but also those antioxidants. That's the main reason why I want that. And then lastly here, we're going to add the beetroot powder, uh, which i got to warn you about a couple things here. Number one, again, it dilates your blood vessels, which is a really good thing. The other thing it's going to do is it's actually going to turn your bowels a little bit of a red color. So don't be alarmed by that. A lot of people will start thinking they have hemorrhoids or they have some sort of other systemic issue, and they actually forgot the fact that they consume beetroot powder. And so it is going to turn your bowel movement's a little bit red. Uh, don't be alarmed by that. Again, totally normal. Nothing we're concerned about there. Last, or second to last, actually, we're gonna take some raw honey. And again, I'm not gonna measure this either. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. I wanna put a good amount in there. Don't be worried about how much raw honey you put in there. Again, it's not gonna affect your blood sugar. It's not gonna spike your blood sugar at all. And there's a ton of nutrition in here. Um, it's actually one of the only foods you can get from insects and it's loaded with different pollen and different things like that. It's really, really good for your immune system as well, especially if you suffer from seasonal allergies. If you can get some raw local honey, what's going to happen is all the things that your body reacts to allergy wise, you're going to get an exposure in your gut, which is going to calm down your immune system. So consuming raw local honey is actually really good for your allergies. All right. Last thing we're going to do here is we're going to add in the secret ingredient some Vital Farms pasture-raised eggs. Um, again, these are chickens that are never in cages. They're eating bugs and grass. That's what they're supposed to eat. So the, uh, uh, the fatty acid profile in these eggs is very high in omega-3s. Uh, best quality eggs you can get in the supermarket. Um, my wife and I, my family, we've had chickens before. Um, I would tell you, I'd rather just buy these. It was not worth all the, all the hassle. And, and these eggs are great. Um, so again, these are really high quality organic pasture raised eggs. Each one of these eggs adds another seven grams of protein, really good amino acid profile, high in zinc, selenium, there's actually a little bit of vitamin D in here. 
So we're going to take this and we're just going to crack it in there and have that egg raw. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, you can't consume anything raw. Be honest with you, when it comes to meat and eggs, the less cooked it is, the more nutritious it is. All right, so I'm going to encourage you, don't be scared to have that egg right in there. If you've ever had a milkshake, like an old school milkshake from like a, a Stewart's Root Beer or something like that, they would always put raw eggs in there. And so as long as you're getting good quality eggs, it's no big deal. You want to make sure that you're, you're keeping your nutrition in, the, in its most natural form possible. So now I'm just going to finish uh, blending up the rest of this here with the powder and everything. go. We got our post-workout smoothie. This is a good amount. What it's going to do is it's going to fill about a large Yeti cup or, or like a large 32 ounce cup. Um, again, this could be an entire meal. You got plenty of protein, healthy fat. You have some, uh, again, plenty of vitamins and minerals. You have some carbohydrates from the fruits. And this is something I eat probably three times a week post-workout. Highly recommend this. We'll call this our strawberry banana smoothie. And make sure you follow Coastal Fitness Nutrition. We're going to have more recipes to come. From my kitchen here, we're going to be doing some breakfast, lunch, dinner, more smoothies. Make sure you tune in and please share this with friends and family. See you later.